Hello my dear children, good morning. So we have completed the third chapter, Laws of Motion. And in the last class we have completed the last portion of the chapter. That is Unit E, Law of Laws of Gravitation. So today we'll be doing numericals based on this uh, unit. Alright, so today's topic is numerical on gravitation. So before we do the numericals from exercise number 3.3e, uh, okay, we'll be uh, have to be uh, make our like uh, we have to make ourselves familiar with the formulas that we are going to use here. So the first formula that we are going to use here, so write this, okay, copy all these formulas also in your notebook. So the working formula number one is V equals to U plus G T. First relation. Second relation is V square equals to U square plus 2G H. Third relation is S equals to U T plus half okay, G T square. Alright. The fourth relation is W equals to M G. And the fourth, fifth relation is F that is gravitational force equals to g that is m into m divided by r square okay now let me explain you what they mean so here this v means initial uh, final velocity u means initial uh, initial velocity g means acceleration due to gravity t means time similarly here this v means final velocity u means initial velocity g means acceleration due to gravity and h stands for height so this s here is displacement u is initial velocity t is the time taken by the body g is the acceleration due to gravity and again g here stands for time this w is weight okay you can write weight with the pencil weight m stands for mass and again g stands for acceleration due to gravity now here in the fifth one this f f means gravitational force gravitational force okay this g stands for gravitational constant this is gravitational constant m is the mass of the first object small letter m is the mass of the second object and r is the distance between these two bodies so these are the five relations that we may use okay when we are doing the sums here in this chapter all right okay so now let's begin the first question that i have taken today is question number one question number one says let me read the question the force of attraction between the two bodies at a certain separation is 10 newton find okay or what will be the force of attraction between them if the separation is reduced to half so now the separation is reduced to half means they these two bodies are brought near to each other logically with the say force k unsa bandesa and i have told you i have explained you in that topic that whenever the distance gets reduced k unsa distance due to body ko between ma distance kam ti bhanche force of gravitation will be more so here initially it is 10 newton force of gravitation here is 10 newton why? Because the distance of separation between them is reduced and by how much? By half. Alright. So let's proceed. So we'll write given given F equals to 10 Newton. And you know the formula that is given by F equals to G M M by R square. Okay. So now the since the distance is reduced, isn't it? So let the new distance b r 1 okay acting you need to copy all this thing in your copy so that later on when you do the revision it becomes easy okay two distance between two bodies with force f 1 then what you'll get you'll get that r1 equals to r by 2 because it is reduced to half half and go two let divide so here i have divided by 2 
all right so f1 will be how much then so f1 will be g okay m by m here mass will remain same because the two bodies are just brought near to each other but the distance is now halved so i'll get r by 2 square all right so when i okay when i open the bracket here you whole square bracket called the kirche what do i get i get 4 how do i get 4 because 2 square is 4 so 4 g m into m divided by r square is that okay yes okay so or f1 equals to 4 so here i got 4 but what is this if you see here you open okay f g m m by r square when you say f from this equation right and what is the value of f given in the question the value of f given here is how many newton 10 newton so i get 4 into 10 newton which means 40 newton all right so this is our first solution for question number one so don't forget to write the statement so the force of attraction between them if the separation is reduced to half becomes 40 newton so this is how you will write the statement all right okay now let's move to the next question the next question that we are taking today is question number three and i guess this question is very very easy question number three says calculate the weight of the body so we have to find the weight of the body now you know you have copied the formula isn't it weight is given by m into g yes so mass okay is 10 kg and you have to find in kilogram force that is the gravitational unit of force and newton that is the si unit of force and you have to take g as how much 9.8 uh, meter per second square so let's write given mass m equals to 10 kg acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second all right so now question number a you have to find the weight weight in kgf that is kilogram force all right that will be given by equals to m into 1 kg f so that will give you 10 kg f all right so it's very very simple you just have to multiply by 1 kg f okay that is the value of g okay similarly this is c don't get confused here this is m into g okay so similarly here question number b is weight in newton equals to m into g the same formula the mass here is 10 kilogram into acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 which is given in the question so 10 point 10 into 9.8 will give you 98 so 98 newton will be the <coughs> solution for number b so question number three very very simple question all right okay so now let's move to the next question so the next question here is question number five let's see what our question number five says question number five says see before you proceed to this uh, number five you can pause in the video here copy the uh, solutions i've done for number three okay after you complete the solution for number three then only we go to number five okay and again after watching this video or the solution how i have done you can again pause copy it again again go to the next question all right so you must note these things properly so that whenever you have test or exams in the future you may revise the numericals or repractice the numericals with the help of this notes that you have done in the copies okay so question number five the weight of a body is 2.0 newton what is the mass of the body so agadiko question question number three manji what was given mass was given and g was given you were asked to find the weight in question number three isn't it now question number five manji weight is given here you are asked to find mass all right so let's do so you don't forget the four rules i've given you so question number five given 
okay mass you have to find question mark weight w is given this is 2 newton and acceleration due to gravity that is g is given that is 10 meter per second square all right so compare the units rule number two both the units are in same system si right so now we'll go to the move uh, move to the rule number three that is to use the best relation so the relation that we are going to use here is we know w equals to m into g that is weight equals to mass into uh, acceleration due to gravity or m equals to w by g we are asked to find the mass so the weight of the body is 2 divided by acceleration due to gravity is 10 so this will give me 2.0.2 kilogram kilogram is the unit of mass so here you write rule number 4 that is statement so question number 5 was also very very simple very very easy is it are you getting to it so see i'm telling you in between see i have done here now you pause this video right now and then copy the solution all right clear so for question you can refer to book okay no need to copy the question in the copies you just you can just write the page number your question is kunja number page master so that later on when you do the revision okay or when you recall uh the sums that you have done here it becomes quite easy for you all all right so now you can pause in here and copy this now we'll move to the next question okay the next question for today okay is question number seven so we are taking question number seven now question number seven let me read it the question number seven says a man weighs 600 newton on earth what would be his approximate weight on moon give the reason for your answer so when i taught you there isn't it and when you go through the book you'll find that the gravitational pull of the moon is less as compared to the earth okay of course it is less when they say one sixth see gravitation of moon is one sixth that of earth okay so you uh, so uh, what you can do is you can write a small note there okay you can write a note here and note municipal like so when they you write gravitation okay of moon is one by sixth of earth okay put a star mark on it so gravitation in moon is less by uh, sorry less as compared to earth and by how much by one sixth okay okay so now let's move to the question question number seven let's write the information under the heading given given okay this is question number seven weight is given no weight of main that is w equals to 600 newton right and we are asked to find the weight of the man on the moon okay yes so you know that weight of the man on moon will be equal to one sixth of the weight of man on earth why because the gravitational pull on the surface of the moon is less as compared to earth by how much by one sixth okay why what is the reason here you can write region what is the reason here the reason is that okay gravitational pull okay or gravity you can just write gravity gravity on moon okay is one sixth of earth okay so because of this is the weight one by sixth so therefore weight of man not of on okay on 
moon equals to one sixth into six hundred newton. So after cancellation, I'll get hundred. Six one the six, six hundred the six hundred. So I get hundred newton. So the man say go wait say moon match cutting the ratio hundred newton. So this is how you will solve. Alright. I hope you understood. Now again you can pause here and copy this. Okay. So after you finish this, we'll move to the next one. So the last question for today is question number nine. Okay, so we are doing question number nine now. Question number nine. Let's read. A ball is released from a height and it reaches the ground in three seconds. Time is given here. If acceleration due to gravity, that is g, is 9.8 meter per second square, find the height from which the ball is released and the velocity with which the ball will strike the ground. So you are asked to find two things here. One is the height and the other one is the uh, velocity. Okay. So first you know the rule to copy all the information given in the question. First information go given here is 3 seconds. So that is our time. Okay. And G is given. That is how much? 9.8 meter per second square. Okay. So here you must see that the initial velocity that is u will be zero okay because the ball is released from a height release chode ko anta chode khari bhanna ko matlab cha pahila cha kethe ball was at rest so initial velocity will be how much zero okay so question number one is to find the height so let the height be s here all right Okay, so before this, I forgot to again to tell you rule number two, compare the units. Second is the unit of time in SI system. Meter per second squared is the unit of acceleration in SI system. So both the units are in the same system. So no need to convert anything here. Okay, so question number A is the height. So we use the best relation. So among the three relations that I've given you on the top here, three equations of motion, the best relation would be this one. S is equals to U t plus half g t square okay so s is the height here okay so initial velocity u is 0 so 0 into 3 is the time here 3 second plus 1 by 2 into acceleration due to gravity here is 9.8 into t square t is 3 second and there is a square there all right so 3 zero is 0 here so i get plus okay so you can cancel this two ones are two two fours are eight and two nines are eighteen so you'll get four okay point nine into three square will give you nine so four point nine okay uh two fours are eight okay yes so that is going to uh give you how much Four four one. So nine nine za eighty one nine four za is how much? Four nine za is thirty six. Thirty six plus eight is forty four. And you have one place decimal there, so you'll get forty four point one meter. So this is the height from which the ball was released. So don't forget to write the statement. So the statement will be the height from which the ball was released equals to forty four point one meter. All right. So second part of the question is there that is the velocity we have to find the velocity in the second part okay so let's go to the second part the second part says velocity so let this is number b let the velocity be v so i'm assuming the velocity to be b okay with which the ball is striking the ground okay so the relation we will use here is we know v square equals to u square okay uh, plus 2 g h or v square equals to 0 square initial velocity is 0 plus okay 2 into the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 into the height just now we calculated it is 44 Point one. So here I will get 
so here I have v square v square don't forget to write this okay or v since I have a square here so when this square goes to the right hand side it becomes square root square root of 8 4 6 4 point 3 6 will give me v equals to 29.4 meter per second so this is the velocity all right so that's all for today don't forget to write this statement here again okay so i hope you understood if you have any confusion do let me know okay so next uh, week we'll have the last class i guess and uh, uh, please note down the syllabus for your examination midterm examination the syllabus for your examination will be chapter number one measurement and experimentation chapter number two motion in one dimension and chapter number three laws of motion okay including the numericals you have to practice the numericals as well for your midterm examination okay so that's all for today have a good day